Have you ever been in a situation where you go to your doctor's office and a medical assistant writes down a series of numbers, your vital signs, and you look at that blood pressure number and wonder, what on earth does that top number and bottom number mean? Well, if you've thought about that and you've never gotten an answer, you're in luck because you're about to find out. Hi, I'm Dr. Rossi, cardiologist from Houston, Texas, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is the first video I put together in this YouTube channel, and I created this channel because I noticed that in my own practice, a lot of the patients who come to see me have all sorts of questions that they need answered, but very little time to ask those questions. So I figured if it's the same questions that most of them have, why not put together a channel where I can answer those questions for them? So to start off, I thought I'm gonna choose a question that I probably get the most often. In fact, I think I can easily say it's the most simplest and most common question patients ask me. And that has to do with their blood pressure. So let's take a look. So in your doctor's office, when they write down the blood pressure, you probably notice that there are two numbers that they write, a top number and a bottom number. The top number is called a systolic blood pressure, and the bottom number in medical parlance is called the diastolic blood pressure. But what do these numbers mean? So your heart is like a pump. It contracts, relaxes, contracts, relaxes over and over again, thousands of times a day. When it does so, every time it squeezes, it ejects blood from the heart into the body. And every single time it relaxes, it accepts blood from the lungs and the rest of the body. When you listen to your heart, that love dub sound that you hear, that is the sound of the contraction and relaxation of the heart. Now, what's interesting is that when the heart contracts and relaxes, it does so against a certain pressure. And that is exactly the blood pressure that we look at. So the top number or the systolic blood pressure is really the pressure that your heart sees when it's contracting. And the bottom number of the diastolic blood pressure, the number at the bottom, that's the number your heart sees when it's relaxing. So which of these numbers is most important, the top number or the bottom number? Well, the short answer is that they're both kind of a big deal, right? Because the top number represents the blood pressure when you're squeezing, the bottom number represents the blood pressure when the heart's relaxing. And both numbers are equally important. And they both, in fact, in most cases, track together. But if you really had to choose one number to look at, and if the question was, which of these two numbers should I really pay attention to? I'd probably say that the systolic blood pressure, or the top number, that's gonna be your mark. And the reason for that is because the top number tells you the highest blood pressure that your heart seizes, sees at all time. Secondly, when you look at large-scale clinical trials and you look at patients who have high blood pressure and end up developing problems associated with that, the people who develop all the problems with hypertension, like heart disease, stroke, kidney disease, those patients are usually people with high top numbers or high systolic blood pressure. For that reason, when I adjust patients' blood pressure, I usually aim to adjust it to the top number. So I hope this video was useful to you. And if it was useful, I would please ask that you like this video and subscribe to it. If you have other questions like this, please send me an email, go on my website, visit us on Facebook, leave a comment on this video. I'll look at all these different sources and I'll create another video next week answering yet another question that most of my patients have. Once again, thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next week again in another episode of Ask Not For